greatest fear was myself getting sick, you know, because you're going in there, you're taking care of these patients who are really sick, and you see what happens to them, and you don't want that to happen to you. So I think that's one of my fears. My other fear is that for me to carry it and give to somebody else I care about. Preparing for the rigors of residency uh, in the COVID-19 pandemic requires a lot more planning than I originally thought. Uh, it's very different from medical school. Uh, here, there's a lot more hands-on responsibility. I think just knowing that there's lots of safety checkpoints, basically knowing that the hospital has your back, the program has your back, that they hear our concerns, and getting these messages from the CEO, they just feel so heartfelt. You felt like you had a voice even though they weren't talking to you directly. It felt like you had a say too, like they were looking after your safety as well. I think adapting to COVID-19 academically is sort of a new normal now. So now we do a lot of our lectures on Zoom, which actually is kind of nice. It's relaxed and you can kind of interact that way and still get social interaction, but not actually being in each other's presence or being in danger. It's one thing. And you kind of learn a little bit more of like, you know, learning where your study zone is, right? You can't really go to your public spaces anymore. Studying at home has been really nice. And so the ad adaptations academically haven't been much. It's just now you're not having as much face-to-face. You hear these stories where you know patients aren't coming in after having a heart attack or having a stroke. I think that's been a significant challenge to remember that there's other things going on, right? I think it's something that you know we've all taken in stride, and now we, we're months into the pandemic, so we're, you know we're uh, slowly starting to work out the kinks and figure things out. I find myself having to practice doing a lot more procedures with greater urgency myself, so that when the time comes that I need to perform, that I know that I will be as prepared as I can possibly be at that very moment. And I think just having everyone around, having the support of not only the, your seniors, your, your attendees, but the hospital itself, staff itself, just kind of getting that motivation to kind of help you feel safe, helps you feel protected. And I think that environment was really like, really reassuring to, have, to kind of go in facing the COVID-19 pandemic. One of the things that I noticed that once COVID first started, like we said, like no one knew what it was or how to do things, but we had this amazing team of ICU doctors here that were basically reading, staying on top of studies, and then going for things and teaching us how to do it. So even though things on the outside weren't as clear, when we were in the ICU, we knew exactly what we needed to do. And I think I'm so happy that I've had these doctors to work with because otherwise I think we would have felt a lot more lost.